My name is Anja Miller and I'm from Brisbane. I've lived there for 58 years and I've been on, uh, involved with the community ever since we moved there. I've um, been on the city council and mayor one term, whereas my husband has been on four terms and four times as mayor. <laughs> so that's how it is. It's a small town of 4,000 people and we've had a very successful little government of our own and we've handled our own affairs. And, and now we are under an unprecedented attack by uh, the state of uh, California. Sacramento is passing bills that are really, really threatening our local control. They are in trying to get 4,000 housing units on our toxic, terrible landfill that is part of our city that we know and have known ever since it was put there that it is a toxic, uh, unbuildable site. So we have our own plan we've developed, uh, which is uh, would use that toxic landfill, which is all garbage, no controls whatsoever, and have a solar farm there to, to produce energy, to make us energy independent and, and really help with the global warming. And But the city was under such pressure from the state government, mainly our Senator Omar, Senator Hill, who insisted that we must approve, or the city council, current city council must approve a, a number of housing, and that is now about half of what was proposed by the developer, who has had a tremendous campaign, uh, legislative and business and PR all over the place, to, to put down Brisbane and to push his own plan and he is, so far has had great, tremendous success and we the people, uh, what, what do we have? We have our own involvement which has always been very great. In Brisbane people have participated in this whole process of planning for the, for the Baylands intensively. We've studied the EIR, for instance, which is a 3,000 page document. We have studied that as a group and, and made recommendations as a citizens group. We have, uh, Dana is going to talk to you later about her involvement in the Brisbane Bayland Citizens Advisory Committee to the state toxic controls people who are responsible for making that land clean up, which is really not possible. And we have hazards that have been overlooked by both the state and our own city council who was intimidated into making a suggestion that our general plan, which rules out housing in the Baylands, be changed to allow housing there. And so Dana is on the BBCAG and we do know that the, the uh, toxics are too, too difficult to control. We also have had, uh, with the Hunter's Point fiasco lately, we know that not all uh, cleanup people do their job right. There's a lot of fraud, there's a lot of... Uh, you cannot trust everything. And so, and the housing crisis that is indeed serious in the state is not the fault of cities. And we have not disregarded our rep responsibility for providing housing. We have, even during the time we saved San Bruno Mountain, as uh, was being threatened by a tremendous development there too. We had a lot of friends help. Even San Francisco helped us save San Bruno Mountain. But in that process, uh, we had, uh, it was so clear that we needed to provide more housing, and we did. We all added 50% of our population with the, what we call the Northeast Ridge development in Brisbane. So we have done our share and we are continuing to meet the arena, what's called the regional uh, as the part that we're supposed to have in the housing construction. Of course, we don't, as a city doesn't construct, except we have some affordable housing, hab habitat for humanity housing, we do have. 
we have senior housing. We, we have done our share and we are now just being blamed that we cannot handle our own, own affairs, which is wrong.